Now watch this. In Old Testament times, in early New Testament times, there were two types of rabbis. There was something called the Torah teacher, and there was something called the rabbi with Samika. Now the Torah teacher had this prerequisite. The Torah teacher had to have memorized the Torah, the first five books of Moses. To be able to be a Torah teacher, he had to be somewhat skilled in the Talmud, which was the sayings of the fathers. In other words, he had to be able to repeat what was currently agreed upon uh, and had, had to have memorized the first five books of Moses. Now, the, the Torah teacher was somewhat a common kind of rabbi, even though you didn't get in that position easily in that memorizing the first five books of Moses was no easy task. And for some people, it took them 10, 15 years to be able to do that. Now, these, this class of rabbi was somewhat ubiquitous. There were, were plenty of them around uh, all over the place. Um, one of the characteristics of that rabbi is they could not have what we call the town dim. The town dim was called the followers or the students of the scholar. They did not have that. Now, there was another class of rabbi, listen to this very carefully, called the rabbi with samika. That meant the rabbi with authority. What was different about this class of rabbi, and there were not very many of them, what was different about this class of rabbi was the fact that this rabbi not only memorized the Torah, which was the first five books of Moses, but he also memorized something called the Hattorf, which meant the rest. So this rabbi memorized all the poetical books, all the historical books. So, you know, he memorized uh, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Ruth, Esther, all of those things. So, so think about that. To memorize all that 66 books, we have, it as, we have it as 66 books now. I don't know how it was chapterized in those days, but nevertheless, it was a lot. It took a lifetime to do that. There were not very many, very many men who entered into that realm or that designation as the rabbi with Samika or Samak that had been given authority. Now, here's how this rabbi received authority. That class of rabbi had to have had hands laid on him by two of the rabbis who gave him Samika. Now watch this part. Samika meant the authority to isogy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The Torah teacher could only exogy. He could only use pre-prescribed, pre-agreed upon methods and interpretation of scripture, and he was good at repeating what he had memorized. But the rabbi with Samika had authority to isogete and to bring new revelation because he or she was so skilled that they could find the father, the mother, the cousin, the relatives, and build a whole new tree and, and line of truth and make it all line up, line upon line, precept upon precept. 